Happy Cybersecurity Awareness Month! Have you recently become aware of the most lucrative, the most exciting, arguably the best job around? <laughs> Cryptocurrency? No, that's old news. Enough Dogecoin, everyone. Don't give in to the FOMO. I'm of course talking about cybersecurity. But how can you get started if you've only just found out about the recession-proof job that is cybersecurity? <laughs> With Coursera, of course. Coursera currently offers three cybersecurity-specific programs that you would be foolish to ignore. The IBM Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate, Google's Cybersecurity Professional Certificate and the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate. This video is sponsored by Coursera, dishing out the knowledge on a silver platter only to be ignored by the fools who don't want to learn the basics the right way. Now I've already done full reviews of the Google and Microsoft ones. Please check out those videos if you'd like additional information. But I've also been asked quite a bit to cover the IBM option as well. So I'm going to go over the IBM program and explain the differences between the three options. And at the end, we'll go over which certificate you should go for if you're just starting out. Let's get into it. Now, if we compare the three programs side by side, comparing the courses in the program, you can see one thing in common. Networking. Clearly networking is important, folks. It's part of cybersecurity's core foundation. If you don't know it, you'll blow it. Now, after reviewing the sections in depth, I can confidently say that the IBM program and the Google program are the most alike, whereas the Microsoft program Hyper focuses on Microsoft tools, which is not surprising. They want you to know their tools and that's the point of the program. So that being said, comparing Google's program and the IBM one, we'll see that the IBM program focuses on different aspects of cybersecurity. Google certificate puts an emphasis on Linux and SQL and incident response, whereas the IBM cert, more of a policy design where they want you to know the concepts rather than the tools themselves in depth. Whereas Google has an entire course on Linux, the IBM cert only has two modules inside of courses that contain Linux references. So of course, Google is emphasizing Linux more. You'll notice that the IBM program has an entire course dedicated to penetration testing, incident response, and forensics, clumping them all together, whereas the Google program has an entire course for sound the alarm, detection and response, which is a incident response course within the program. So in that regard, Google is gearing you up to be a security analyst, whereas the IBM cert is more emphasizing just overall concepts for cybersecurity. It isn't teaching you any one particular cyber niche, which is great for getting in the fundamentals, but if you know for a fact that you wanna go for a security analyst role, the Google program is going to be the preferred option. Also of note, the IBM program has videos that are a wee bit outdated, and that's to be expected considering how much older the IBM program is. So while it does teach you a lot about the fundamentals of basic cybersecurity concept and penetration testing, incident response, forensics, uh, cyber threat intel is huge without knowing how the bad guys are changing their tactics you have no real way of doing any penetration testing or incident response or any forensics because what are you gonna be looking for if you don't know what you're looking for the IBM certificate has a final assessment at the very end that apparently takes four hours to do, whereas the Google program and the Microsoft program do not have a final exam that you need to pass. They have multiple quizzes throughout the coursework, but they don't have a culminating exam. Now that doesn't make the IBM program any more difficult. It just means that you have a final exam, whereas the other ones are emphasizing more on getting hands-on work through projects and just passing quizzes at the end to make sure that you're retaining some of the knowledge. Because everybody loves quizzes. <sighs> While we might hate them, they do serve a purpose. And revisiting concepts is very important for long-term memorization. And if you don't remember the basics, then how are you ever gonna make it to the intermediate stuff? Now, I didn't wanna go too in-depth into the IBM cert just because it seems to be slightly outdated in the topics that it covers and how it covers them. It doesn't emphasize the most important aspects of things that you're going to need to know as a beginner in cybersecurity. It kind of goes at a top level view of, of concepts that aren't really gonna get you ready to get into the basic work. So which certificate should you go for? Well, if you've been watching, you might've already caught on me leaning towards the Google certificate for general cybersecurity. It's updated for the times and it provides a bit more curriculum that I believe is more relevant for security analysts, which is the most popular and common of the cybersecurity niches. Now the IBM CyberCert can be an excellent follow-up cert to supplement the knowledge that you've gained from the Google cert and serve as a bit of a review to really hammer that knowledge into your brain. So while not necessary to do both the IBM and Google, as there is a fair amount of overlap, as is the name of the game in cyber, the more you know, the better your odds at success in this field. Do so you have to learn as much as possible? If you love Microsoft products with a passion and want to work in the Azure cloud computing space, then of course the Microsoft program is your best bet. Like I've said before, Rome wasn't built in a day, so you best get to building your cyber knowledge today. The world is your oyster and cybersecurity is your pearl. 